Today I'm going to show you how to use a dissecting microscope, which is also called a stereo microscope, and this just allows you to look more closely at samples. You can look at insect samples, plant samples, anything, and it allows you to look at the surface of the sample. Some of the microscopes have a built-in light source. This one has an external light source. So the first thing you want to do is turn on that light source. I usually like to turn it on the whole way and then just make sure these are pointing at the specimen right in the middle of the stage here. And the next thing you want to do is these knobs here are the focus knobs and just make sure your sample is in rough focus using these knobs. The other thing that's really important to make sure is the le usually the left eyepiece has two lines that you need to line up and that makes sure the focus on both eyepieces is the same. They do this because if you have drastically different prescriptions in each eye, you can adjust it to yourself. But the first thing you wanna do is just make sure that those are lined up there. The next thing you wanna do is move the lenses in and out to fit your eyes. And you move them until you see one image. If they're too far apart, you may see two images. So you just adjust them until they look right to you and you may have to adjust your focus while you're doing this. And then the last part of the stereo microscope or dissecting microscope is the zoom in. And usually that's closer to the eyepieces here. And so you just move this knob. I like to hold on to the sample like this so it doesn't move. You move this knob to zoom in and then you probably will have to readjust your focus after you zoom in and out. And that's really the basics of using a dissecting microscope.